All right, we'll leave this alone for a moment. <coughs> Hey, good morning, everyone. Dave here from Myographer. Um, sorry for the little uh, mix-up with my logo and my lower thirds and everything. I haven't used Switcher Studio in a few weeks. Um, they just had a big upgrade. And for those of you not knowing what I'm talking about, on my iPad Pro over here, I'm running this camera here. I'm running an overhead shot that we'll see in a moment. Um, I can add up to nine devices. And uh, it's an amazing um, application. I just uh, I've been so doing desktop stuff with eCam and whatnot. Um, I forgot my mobile solution, but this is my go-to mobile solution when I'm out streaming things and and uh, you know out on on about and you know, going to conventions and things like that. So anyway, big news today, and I'm super excited. Uh, I'm trying to see here on Switcher. I think we should be able to see if we have any comments. Let me look over here on my, on my, my little uh, laptop here and see. Oh, there we go. We got Kenny here. We got Carlos here. It's good to see everybody this morning. Um, unfortunately, well, I'm sure it's for the better, but uh, Switcher just added a, a new live comment mode, but um, I am not, I haven't played with it yet, so I'm not versed in it. Anyway, and the reason I'm over here on the big desk today is I wanted to really show you guys um, how to, uh, how our new case is coming along and some really exciting news. And I think Kenny, um, you already are a, you are a pre-order guy, so thank you for that. Um, let me uh, just go over here for a second. My system preferences, so my screen doesn't keep turning off here. And where are we? Love the back. Hey, Tom, good to see you, man. Um, so, yeah, so I'm a bit of a, I don't know, I collect a lot of things. Um, I'm into my Funko Pops. This is my, like, original, one of the early Thors. I got to frame it and stuff. Uh, my little, uh, my uh, Alfred Hitchcock, he always looking over for me. But, um, so I wanted to really do some fun stuff. My wife only allows me, like, a little area, even though this is my office. I can't just have it all over, which I would love. And, uh, you know, she kind of rules, but I love my Funko Pops. They're amazing. Um, little bobblehead guys. Uh, where is screen displays? Here we go. Displays. Let's see what happened here. What is this? Displays. There we go. Display. Uh, no, it's not display. It's power, isn't it? How's everybody today out there? Where are y'all at? What what's going on in your world? Here we go. Desktop and screensaver. Um, I don't want screensaver. And desktop. I just want this not to shut off. All right. Well, we'll fix this in a moment. Let's get back. Let me see if I can put this one over here so I can kind of see it off to the side. And. Um, We'll go for that. I can see that. Hopefully it doesn't turn off. Let me see the overhead shot now. There's my laptop. Okay. This will work. This will work. And while I'm in the, in the, um, while we're in the top view here, let me introduce to you the whole reason that we are here is the launch of the Iographer Multi Pro case. And um, I am just so excited. This thing has been a couple years in the making. We would have had it last year, 
but uh, we were unfortunately uh, due to COVID and everything, um, you know, money, logistics, <laughs> everything, couldn't have asked for like a worse year, right? So uh, we are finally at the home stretch now. I am super, super excited. And I just kind of wanted to demo the new case for you guys all today um, and tell you some new fun things about it. So let's get into that. All right, so this is the new case. This, so this actually is the carry case. When we were designing um, the product, I didn't want to have, and can you guys hear me okay? I think you can. Um, we didn't want to just create your basic packaging. Uh, we did that with the multi uh, case for the phones. It came in a nice box and you know, either you guys are storing your baseball cards in there or you just threw it away. So I didn't really want that to happen this time when we did the new case. I wanted it to, I wanted there to be something extra for everyone. And, um, we designed this carry case with our beautiful logo on top. And it's got your handle on top to carry it around. Um, and this is it. And then you, so you unzip it and inside, inside you will see the Iographer Multi Pro right here. Now this is what's called a mold sample. And uh, so when they send this out to us, they ran it through the mold. They haven't put any texture on it yet. The logo's here, of course. You can see this little uh, snaky kind of thing right here. All of that stuff will be fixed. Um, and this is just to see if it fits and, and if, the, if everything works correctly. And then on top of, the, of this protective case, you're gonna see a zipper here. So if you wanna put an iPad in here, if, uh, it works up to the iPad 11 uh, Pro. Uh, you can put a flexible tripod. You could put, uh, what else can you put in here? Uh, microphones, lighting. Whatever you want, basically, can go in here. Your extra clothes, <laughs> whatever you want, you can do that. So that is what's in there. And then you have the case. And so this is the, the sample of it. Let me move this out of the way now. And we'll go to this. And we'll kind of go over the new, um, this, uh, this uh, mold uh, sample for us. And so when they send it to us, it's just we want to make sure that everything fits correctly and slides and does everything. And uh, then we want to check. Let me see if I can grab it this way. We want to check that uh, the insides are all the way they should be. This is the master plate on the back. Inside of here, of course, there'll be screws. It'll be all screwed down. And then uh, there's going to be these high tension uh, springs here that are going to connect these so that the handles spring out like that and up and down. Um, and then of course on each side here there'll be quarter 20 threads. On the bottom is a quarter 20 thread. We have a reinforced flat bottom now so that you can actually stand it if you want to. So if you just wanted it to be like that you certainly can do something like that. So that is uh, pretty cool as well. And um, so everything has been approved. They added the texture this week and um, they're gonna start uh, sending the mold over to our factory here in California. And we will be in production um, with units shipping uh, in late July, early August. Now the first run <coughs> is only gonna be 500 units because it was kind of like a test run that we wanted to see but uh, according to the pre-order that we have already, we launched a pre-order to our uh, people that had signed up from the uh, Kickstarter or the actually the Indiegogo we did last year. So we, we did a pre-order to them. We did a pre-order to our list that we've been building. And we've sold uh, close to 300 units since Friday. <laughs> so if you want to get in on the first batch, I highly recommend um, you taking a look at it and... Um, uh, and, and thinking about picking one up so that you can get in on the first batch. So let's move this aside for now. That's the mold sample. So for those of you who don't know what the heck this is, this is one of the uh, 3D prints that we created uh, when we made this thing. And so it's really interesting because this is so much heavier than the original, uh, or than, the, than the actual ones from the mold. 
And the mold ones are way stronger too. They're just made out of this uh, polycarbonate ABS plastics. Uh, really, really powerful and strong. This is just 3D print, so, uh, and it's just super heavy. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the things that this case is going to uh, be ready for. And it's so timely because I've had uh, Apple just sent out, or they're shipping out their new iPad Pros, which are just a beast with the M1. Uh, you know, let me just go back to my front view here for a second. Oh, wrong one. There I am. The new iPad Pros are just such a beast with the M1 chip in it, um, with the uh, the three lenses now, so that you can have a super wide um, using apps like Filmic Pros. Um, gosh, I can't think of it right now. I want to say First Light, but that's not it. Uh, Filmic Pro has an app that allows you to shoot. Uh, two, uh, two angles. So if you want to do a wide angle, super wide angle, and maybe a close up, uh, a telephoto, you can do that with just you know you, no lenses at all, just using the app. You can film yourself and looking out as well. So there's lots of options with all this new uh, technology that the new iPad Pro is bringing, and we wanted to have an awesome case that worked with it. Also, the iPad, um, the uh, well, the 11 Pro, of course, but the Air fourth generation, uh, we haven't been able to have people use that for a while because we don't have a case for it because Apple made a 10.9 size <laughs> and the other ones were 10.2. Double take, thank you so much, Tom. Appreciate it. Yeah, double take. If you haven't, if you use Filmic Pro and you haven't played with double take, take a look at it. I don't, I think it's free. So download double take and play around with that. Um, so anyway, this thing is just going to be a beast for your production for things like that. Um, iPad Pro fourth gen, um, the and all the all the iPad. Pro, I'm sorry, iPad Pro, all of them, iPad Air fourth gen, all of them um, are going to fit in this. It actually goes down to the 9.7 uh, size uh, iPads as well, uh, but we have actual cases for that. But you may want this because you're going to upgrade later. I don't know. All right, so let's just take a look at this. So what this does, I'm just going to open it up as, as big as I can. So I'll just use, let's see, we'll use that view for one second. So I pull it out to the side, and then I screw the little screw on top here. Maybe we'll do the top view. There we go. I pulled it out. I screwed, I, I tightened this little screw here. We're going to go to this side, and I tightened it there. So now we've got this super wide frame here. And then I'm going to pull the top out here, and we'll just tighten this one a little bit. And that is what I recommend. I mean, get this all set up big so that you can put your tablet in here, and then slowly let them come into the sides. One other thing, when you get to the new case, it literally uh, is going to come with uh, the case I showed you, the protective case, and then this will be on the other side of it. And that's the entire packaging. <laughs> um, and what's on here is just tells you the features. This is our scan code. And then it's going to show you. So if you are an Android tablet, a Chrome tab user, or you use the Microsoft Surface Pro, which I've actually, I, I, I couldn't find it this morning. I think it's underneath it over there. But um, I've actually used it in this case, and it works great. Um, but the only thing that, so you have to remember that it fits minimum 8.91 inches this way and 6.91 inches in height. Now it, it exp expands to 13.91 inches wide and um, it expands up uh, to uh, 10.11 inches. So you got lots of size here that you can use um, to do some really cool stuff with it. Um, and like I said, as long as the camera is somewhere up uh, on the top, on the right or the left side, the left side is where the iPads are, and lots of Chrome tabs are on the right side. So, um, you know, and then the Microsoft Surface is in the middle, and we've tested all those, and they work great. I can't tell you exactly which Chrome tabs. I mean, we have a couple of them, um, Samsung Galaxy Tab, something. I forgot which version it is. There's just so many Chrome tabs that... Um, and Android tablets that I can't keep up with them and I, I would go broke buying all of them. 
anyway, that's uh, so that's what's going to be on this. Uh, and then on the opposite side, it shows you a little thank you from me with a bit.ly link and a scan code uh, to take you to a, a whole page just dedicated to this product with tutorials and extra gear you may want, things like that. And of course, made in the USA. So let's take a look at this. Let me just bring out a couple of things here. So this is interesting. Um, this is a case I found on Amazon. It's super huge and thick. It's got a thing in the back that you can put your hand on. Anyway, um, what, why I got this, and let me just go show you the front view here. This is gigantic. So it looks like this, um, you know, and you could put your hand in here if you wanted to. I just wanted to pick this up to, uh, some people had asked about the ability to add their pencils here. So if you're out there, you're holding this, you want to do some quick drawing, whatever. I couldn't really design this to hold a pencil because this is really not that type of a case. It's more for, you know, creating video or whatever, but some people like it for this other thing. So I found this, let's go to the overhead shot. I found this and this giant case uh, fit in here. And I went like this. Let me just see. No, I went this way, I think. Yeah, there we go. So I went in here and then uh, squeezed it in like that. And this giant case absolutely fit. And now if I want to put my pencil in there, I was able to do that. And, uh, you know, you can have it in there and ready to go and whatnot. So this is a good op option. It's on Amazon. It's a really uh, inexpensive case uh, for people that want to do that. It's nice and protective. The big thing here about the Multi Pro that I wanted to let you know is that you can use protective cases. If you're a school or whatever and you need to have, you know, maybe the iPads are already in a, in a protective case or... Um, like we're using with the um, U.S. Olympic uh, bobsled team, they're going to be out there in the snow, and one of the cool things is they can put their product in something like an otter box or a uh, life-proof case. And I'll, I'll just bring that out here. So this is the original um, iPad Pro. I think it's dead right now, yeah. This is the original iPad Pro, the 12.9 first generation. It's a lot bigger than the new ones. Um, and this is a super, you can see this is a, a very thick, um, life proof case. So, but this is like, if you want to throw it around, if you want to go in the water, the snow, whatever, um, you can do that. So this case fits fine here. Okay. And there you have it. You can put it in like that. It fits fine. Of course you would then loosen these handles up to, uh, make it smaller and stuff like that. If you wanted to add a lens, you can add a lens on the top here with our lens clip. So you can do things, have lenses there as well. And um, you know that all varies, of course, because if this is super thick um, and has like a big bump here, your lens is gonna be angled. The Otter Box and the Life Proof are flat like that, so you can add lenses on top, which is nice. You can also add case lenses if you wanted to. You have a lot of options with lenses when using a case like this. All right. And then, so let's take this out of the way. And then there's the iPad Pro 11. Now, um, this is a great device. I love it. The reason I wanted to show you this was this was a prototype we had made uh, like in 2019 with case lenses. If you guys don't know about case lenses that are on our website, they make awesome lenses like this is the anamorphic lens super high quality lenses um, and we sell them. We're the distributor here in the States. Um, but they made a case, a uh, protective case for the iPad Pro 11 so that now I could screw on my lenses from case on here. Uh, it's a 17 millimeter area thread here or 18, I'm sorry, 18 millimeter thread. And this is a little metal plate and this is a kind of a leather. And so now if I put this in here, you can see, let me just, uh, I'm gonna loosen the right side a little bit. And then we'll just leave that there for a moment. And then I will go to the right side, the left side, and loosen that up, so there we go, okay. 
So now maybe I just need to pull this side out a little. And there we go. I'll tighten these up. And feel free to ask questions. I'm watching. And then we'll loosen the top here. And there we go. This is the iPad Pro. Um, let's see. Oh, I got to do my secret code here. This is the iPad Pro uh, 11. This is the first gen of it. But now you can see how easy it is to film with this and walk around. You got a nice big screen. On top of this, you can add your uh, shoe, accessory shoe things here. So if you want a microphone here, if you want to add a um, light here, there's bars you can put to screw in here and have more things all across the top. Um, of course, there's a uh, quarter 20 on this side and um, this is just good to go. Now on the front side here, if we want to screw on the lens, we just have to go right here and screw it on. And there you go. So you've got your lens all screwed on there. You can add filters to these lenses. You can take, uh, you can take this off and, and add just a filter if you want to. So we are partnering with Case to create these lenses. I mean these uh, these cases here. Now these cases are not going to be available at launch. They're going to be available later this year, probably in the fourth quarter. Um, so that's one thing. That's just because of time and logistics um, but we're going to have them for the iPad Pro um, the iPad Pro 11 and 12 and then the iPad uh, Air 4th gen so that people can add their lenses and there's so many different lenses I mean this is a macro lens um, this is the, the wide angle lens this is an anamorphic lens there's a 300 millimeter lens um, and there you go I mean this is it so this is going to be amazing. Um, I wanted to come on today to kind of show you guys how it all worked um, and uh, you know, oppor the different opportunities you can have to put different size tablets in here. And like I said, you know, if you have an Android tab and your lens is on this side, you just want to make sure that it is on this side and it's not down here or whatever. Um, and then with this thing extended, if you had the uh, Surface Pro, you'd be able to see uh, the lens coming out of here um, and it, it works fine with the Surface Pro. Um, so this, the total for these packages are going to be $129. Um, yes, there. if you have a coupon from the website, you can use the coupon. Uh, can you con still connect your adapters to the case? Uh, yes, absolutely. Let's take a look at that. That's a great question. So let me see if I can, which angle I can do here. So here is the uh, adapter there, and this is the USB-C, so you can certainly come over in through here. You can just bring it right here and off to the side. Um, so there is plenty of room for your adapters right here. Um, you know, the speakers here are open as well, but the big thing is if you want to add your power, etc., you can do all this type of stuff. So yes, good question, Tom, thank you. So there is room for all that. Like I said, we have the new reinforced bottom here that you can, uh, with, with our quarter 20, to put on your tripod so it sits nice and flat. If you just want it to sit flat like that, you can do that. Um, if you want it to go vertically, you can do stuff like that because we have quarter 20s. However, our, our tripod that we sell will, ex will go vertically like this if you want to. Um, so they're $129.95. If you're watching this and this is something that you're like, wow, I want this, uh, which you should, <laughs> uh, I highly recommend picking one up in the next day or so be because we're gonna once we're sold out, we're we're gonna be looking at um, September for the next one, the next uh, bunch, and then we'll be we'll have plenty after that. Tomariyama, I owe you a phone call, my dear friend. Yes, tripod screw support and the handle is nice. Yes. So you can actually, I, don't, I should have put them out here for the demo, but on this right side here and the left side, there are, um, we, we sell these things from Joby that are called Gorilla Arms, and they have quarter 20 screws, and you screw them in here, and then they come out like this, and then you can, um, you can actually add, um, 
Uh, what was I going to say? You can, they, they, one of them has a cold shoe and one of them has a quarter 20. So you could screw extra accessories out there. Maybe you want to put your GoPro on there. I mean, there's a ton of things. It's just endless of what you can do. I like to put the arms out here with three different lights. So I have a three light kit kind of going. Um, that's really fun too. And um, so yeah, I mean this iPad Pro, the new ones are just such beast um, products. I, I wish I had mine to demo today, but um, it's not gonna come until July 1st, I think is what it said. Um, and I was like, I was up at the crack of dawn and ordered from Apple's website the minute they launched the new ones and uh, that was the first available shipment. And I've seen other people have gotten them uh, already and I'm just so jealous, but um, that's, it's honestly what might be the last iPad I, we ever need. <laughs> I know this is gonna be the last case you ever need uh, because you're gonna be able to s interchange with different size tablets as well, so. So this is it, the iPad Pro. Let me just see if I have this little photo. This is a thing I shot earlier this year, just uh, kind of decked out. I've got my um, Rode mic up on top, the wireless one with my Loom Cube light, with my uh, wide angle lens. I'm ready to go out and do some fun shoots. Um, it's super exciting and um, very, very excited. I, I can't even tell you. Let's go back. So. Where am I? So if this is something you guys are interested in, um, go to iographer.com. Um, it uh, should be the first image you see uh, in the big banner and just click on that or across the top of the website, you'll see that it says, uh, uh, what does it say? It says, oh, a pre-order the, uh, the Multi Pro. So little trivia. I hear her little feet walking by, but my wife actually designed this. It wasn't me. And I'm going to give her kudos, even though, uh, you know, I want all the credit. But she designed this with our engineer, and this is her brainchild. And, um, you know, I've, I've, uh, we're, we're very competitive sometimes. So at first I was like, nah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And then we got a, a copy of it, and I was like, wow. So I'm just super proud of her and she's, uh, you know, this is her, she's, her name is on the patent. All of this is patented. Uh, we just got the approval uh, about a month ago. So we are totally patented and uh, very cool stuff. So moral of the story, find yourself a smart wife or at least a smart girlfriend. <laughs> yes. Yes, Co. thank you. Yes, uh, demos on the Instagram channel. Yeah, we're going to do some stories and um, some, some other things. I'm, and actually getting some demo units in very soon that uh, I've already promised the U.S. bobsled and Olympic team, uh, U.S. bobsled and skeleton teams, which we sponsor. We're like official sponsors of them now. Um, we're going to send these out to them so that they can play with them um, on their course and stuff. And uh, can't wait to see what they do and what kind of videos they, they send back out. Yes, we are the dynamic duo. <laughs> um, so this is it. This is the iographer Multi Pro. Um, you can order it today, pre-order it to be first in line. It's going to be first come, first serve. Um, check it out at uh, iographer.com. Do I have that somewhere? Come on. Oh, yeah. Here's my little, if you want to go to Instagram, we are on social media at iographer for everything. And uh, there's our little iographer.com. In case you're wondering what software I'm using for this, this is um, for this live stream, this is Switcher Studio. And I'm going to do a little quick segue on that. I'm going to bring out my iPhone here. And I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to, um, just a little extra teaser for you guys. I'm going to open up uh, Switcher Studio on my phone. So I could do all that I'm doing right now, this live stream, on my phone if I wanted to. And here it says, do I want to log in or do I want to share this device? So I'm going to click share this device and share this camera. And then I'm going to go over to my, um, this is my, my pro here. Let me just, where's my cameras? There we are. And what do you know? It says Dave's uh, 12 Pro Max. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to ask me if I want to allow it. And now I'm going to double click. Oh, that's the wrong one. Where am I? Uh, there we are. 
I'm going to double click and there I am. So that is me right there. And this is how this whole thing is working right here. This is all on my iPad Pro. This is Switcher Studio. And I can go in here and just switch across things. And it comes into the preview monitor and then goes to the live. Like if I want to take off my uh, my my uh, lower third here, I just click on this once. It gets rid of it. It's gone. If I want to put it back on, I'll click it on once. There we go. All these animated graphics were built in Switcher Studio. I have this connected to my little uh, Behringer Mini Mixer that is uh, connected to my Rode mic right here for my audio. And it's going through this little, where is it there? This little Sateki uh, USB-C port. So that is how I connect all of this to um, to go out to you guys. And I can, like I said, I can put nine devices up here if I want to. I can do picture-in-picture picture stuff. Um, it is endless. In fact, let's do a quick picture-in-picture. Picture. Not to make this a uh, Switcher Studio commercial. Let's do a click on that. And then we're going to do one and two. And we'll bring that live. And there we go. So there you go. You can see that we are now in this mode and I can show you, you know, show you things around here, my office, whatever. And uh, that's it right there. It's showing me on top here that this is camera four. So if I wanted to switch cameras, I can go, there's camera one, there's camera two. You know, I can do all kinds of fun stuff here with Switcher Studio. So cool stuff, guys. Check out Switcher Studio. A little shout out to them. They do some amazing things. This is the Iographer Multi Pro. And I'll get off of, uh, let's see here. Let's do that. Where is my, I want to do solo mode. There we go. Let's click on this. Nope, nope. forgot how to do solo mode all right this is all good <laughs> I forgot how to click off on this that's what I get for not um, for not uh, using switcher for a while let me see here if anyone from switcher is watching so here's my a and B but I wanted to go to solo now so if I click on this and hold it let's see edit nope I don't want that I just don't want to be, let's see, there we go. Um, there we go. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. And we are, we're back. Okay, so sorry about that. That was a little crazy. But uh, what did you guys think about the new case? Um, are, is it something you like? Are you going to be interested in it? And there we go. I'll turn my phone off now. I'm super excited. This thing is such an awesome device. But the, and the new iPad Pros are just beast. And this is going to be your go-to for shooting things, I promise you. Um, I'm thrilled. So anyway, just a quick showing of how this all works what you can do with it I wanted to get this out there to you guys um, I wanted to can't tell you that you know pre-order it now so that you can get it uh, when we ship the first batch of them um, which will be at the end of July early August um, we're gonna have them out um, to the everyone who ordered so go to iographer.com um, check it out spread the word and uh, you know the people that missed this first one can then go and pick one up, uh, pre-order, keep pre-ordering it for the next batch. So um, we already got um, a school that wanted 150 of them, so we're trying to figure that out. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's been amazing, and it's so good to see you guys this morning on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. Um, very excited to see all my old friends and uh, co. My God, we're gonna have a talk this week. Mr. Mariyama, it's been way too long, um, and it's all my fault, I guarantee you. 
Uh, but I uh, hope you're doing well. Hello to the family. All the kids are gigantic now. And uh, Kenny and Tom, and thank you so much, you guys. Good to see you. Carlos Tacos out there. Uh, anyway, that's the Iographer Multi Pro. Uh, check it out today at iographer.com. And um, I'll see you guys soon. All right. Take care.